Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We just got yelled at telling us that we're live at 1, which is perfect. Thanks, FCAT, for broadcasting tonight's a regularly scheduled meeting of the Sunderland Select Board of Awesome. You can call it to order at 6.33. So an update on the name change. Uh, our legislative compatriots have made it to um, House and Senate form, and it's going to be an awesome name when it finally gets adopted by the... By the uh, by the uh, state house uh, tonight we've got a couple of things uh, we have the folks from sugarbush development talking about the potential of a sewer extension we have some select board updates a little bit of town administrator updates frankly there's a lot going on with the town administrator updates but we have to keep some of them quiet for a little while um, and we're going to have a community pathways discussion about naming school street which is actually named school street but that's just my opinion uh, we're going to have a village center committee appointment and then a little bit of representative uh, for the regional planning authority in case you are interested because you're in the gallery i'm always interested there, in there you go uh, so tonight we're going to start off early if we could uh, with uh, uh, michael charles from benchmark development the folks who are uh, administering the project constructing the project down at Sugarbush Meadows. Uh, people have seen both the site work as well as some of the buildings going up. Uh, that's Plum Tree and 116. And they're gonna talk about the opportunity for tying into the municipal sewer system. And that's why they're here tonight. Great. Right. We got pictures with circles and arrows, but they're small. So FCAT's gonna zoom in on everything for us. Go ahead. So it, it's really just a conceptual conversation mm -hmm. because we're trying to figure out, you know, kind of what's the form and what is the mechanism that we would use if the town was interested in extending the sewer of us, you know, for, for this project. Now we had our. You want to extend to our sewer system, not the town extends oh, sewer right, right, to right. you. Thank right. you very much. I want that abundantly clear. Abundantly clear, right. So we had our site civil identify two mm -hmm. potential routes to get from Sugarbush mm -hmm. to the town system. One is on 116 and one is through uh, um, the other Plum tree. There you go. Tree lane. Yeah, I was there you go. Say cherry you. tree. <laughs> one of the trees, uh, but yeah. Plum, plum tree lane. You know, uh, I think the real question is if if we were, first of all, at a really high level, if we were to do that, is there any thought or feedback from the town as to which would be the easiest and, uh, you know, less painful, I should say, I would think. I think in our initial meeting, we uh, talked to you about this, the thought was broadly staying off of 116 would probably be the thing that would make sense. The other route on Plum Tree is longer, mm -hmm. has its own complications. Uh, it probably passes more additional residents mm -hmm. that might be able to tie in, but I don't even know if that's a consideration, honestly. Sure. So I guess for us, it's really just trying to figure out how do we hash through it? Is there a working committee or something, or what do we actually do? Mm -hmm. What we have are these two proposed routes. We have identified a couple constraints on either one of them, and it seems to me that the answers really end up coming from the town, and I don't know how we, how we really work through it. That's sure. That's question. Tom or David, you've got a pair of routes in front of you, right? 116 is primarily a state route. We had this discussion about uh, it's actually Plum Tree and Silver and Out Tort. Past your house. And then, like, literally past your house. I believe it. And, uh, and then out toward one of the lift stations on uh, Silver Lane. So it's South Silver, Silver Lane. Um, the pieces are up front. I don't know if FCAT can zoom in on that um, with any light. You can try these lights if you want. Anyway. But generally, any of them will require additional construction along the route, right? Sure. Like lift stations along the route. Right. So you can be trying to go gravity where you can. Mm -hmm. I mean, you get to a certain elevation, you build a lift station. Mm -hmm. Issues with some of the lift stations, obviously, or then you need to have a generator somewhere along the way. Correct. Those yeah. lift stations. But that's, so that's construction somewhere along the way to create the lift station. And then until you get to the final, I think if you're doing the Plum Tree Road, you know, the final 300 feet just becomes a uh, force main into your system. A lift station. So. Okay. Questions of the board? Not just yet. Okay. Why are you proposing this? It seemed to make sense Why? that 
Uh, Five whys we get to a root cause. Why is the second why makes sense? Because we're, we're obviously we're building a, a wastewater treatment facility on site. Mm -hmm. uh, they have a finite life. Yes, they do. Um, this is obviously not going to get done in time for us to not put in that wastewater That's treatment facility. So we're, we're going ahead with that in any event. But again, it does have a finite life. If, if there was a way and, and a reason that made sense for the town, like there was some advantage for the town, uh, for us to extend the town system to this project, the only thing I would see is you, you eliminate down the line the maintenance of the way we eliminate the maintenance of the wastewater treatment facility. We pass a bunch of residents. I don't know how your system is set up right now. Would they tie in? Is this provide an opportunity for additional residents to tie into the system? It would seem like that would be an advantage, but honestly, I don't know uh, from a town's the town standpoint. So the last time, the last time the sewer system was extended, it was done through betterment taxes. So, uh, so if a resident the sewer passed in front of the house, they paid a betterment tax. They chose to go on it or not. Correct. They didn't have to, I guess, right? Correct. That that's how that's how it went when when they went down Silver Lane and. Russell Street and other places, they did that through betterment tax, mm -hmm. it, which are which are allowed, but mm -hmm. but it was voted on in in the sewer system. So you know the sewer system um, is governed by the town. Although, so when we vote on the sewer system budget, it's done at town meeting and everybody votes, okay. but everybody doesn't pay, right. um, and kind of. So you can, so everybody would go to the, everybody goes to the meeting and we look at the operational costs of, so a few years ago we relined the sewer line from basically down 116, come down Amherst Road. Um, well, the section of Old Amherst as well. Yep. yep. Right. And that was, now that was paid for the town meeting voted on it, right? But it was paid for right. by the sewer so users. Right. Right. And I don't even know that we're suggesting at this juncture anything other than this is an advantage to the development, so the development would pay for the work. But I don't know. How, I, don't, I don't even know what that means. You know, I, I don't know what it means to be able to do the work in the town right away. Uh, it is well, I, you know, that's that to me is the series of questions. There's the, there's sure. the technical questions of how does it actually get done, right. and then there's the financing question. And we're just really first trying to get a, a, well, there's, it a lot, get yeah, there's a lot of questions. Uh, yeah. I mean, for, the first question is is that you're probably looking at seven thousand feet. Yeah, I think it's like eight thousand feet going the. Eight thousand feet of a pipe um, is going to be a force main or gravity. You you got. Um, you, you have at least one or two. So you start, least you can go with four feet, usually you don't want to go too much past 12. So every time there's an eight foot elevation change, you'd have to have a pump about, I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah, I mean, you yeah, can put yeah, it at 20. Yeah. I mean, so you got, every time there's an eight foot change, you have to have a, and, and you have to make sure that you have the necessary grade from plum tree which is relatively flat from that's fair relatively just goes down <coughs> pitches toward the river eventually well you need there's a, a lot of flat you need a quarter, yeah, quarter, quarter inch per yeah. foot yeah. so so seven so you think about it so if it's eight thousand feet how much lift do you need if you need a quarter quarter inch how many inches do you need mm -hmm. so i don't think it goes that far Probably looking at Mount Toby. Uh, so, there, so there's a there's a lot of things to consider, and if you're looking at, so then you have to we we would have to look at what it would cost. If there's 150 units. Yeah, but yeah. An estimated 35,000 gallons a day, 150 units. How many gallons? 35,000 daily. Hmm. I don't think that's on the light side. Okay, so Is that by the bed or by the fixture? Because you guys transferred your permit to be accommodating by the bed now, as opposed to by fixtures or what tie into the sewer system. I gotta believe it was by the fixture because right. Mark 
that's why we were trying to do the yep. calculation yep. to find out so we could determine, well, does the capacity even exist in the plan? Smart, yep. And I think Mark had, Mark Darnold from Berkshire Design Group had an initial conversation with somebody at the plant to mm -hmm. determine, okay, yeah, at a really high level, the capacity exists. Mm -hmm. That was really just the first. Right. Dream. And that makes sense, right? So establish a baseline, and, and that baseline can be calculated out and refined. Yep. Yeah. Smart. So let's see. When somebody's off the off the system now, and they want to tie in, we said they can tie in if they if they install a pump system, and they're responsible for the maintenance. Correct. For force mains tying in. For yep. force. Yep. For force yep. main. Yep. yep. And the yeah. last the last one. The last mm -hmm. one, I'm sorry, just to finish, the last one we did like that with an extended was the kitchen garden facility. Kitchen garden. Yeah. Yep. It was a couple hundred feet and it was force main grinder. Yeah, okay. Yeah. How much capacity would that leave us left? Uh, the chief operator, the engineer, the chief operator, who's who's actually new now, and uh, Bob's now retired, and the engi principal engineer who's been there for some time said 35,000 was capacity that was clearly available, but they had to work on the nameplate. Remember, we've got a lagoon that's tied up right now, clarifier that's tied up right now. So, so we don't we don't necessarily know what the total capacity is. Nameplate, yep. They did say that from a NIPTES perspective, that would not necessarily be a permitting issue because of the nameplate of the plant being permitted. Well, I'm just saying, discharge, right? If if you're going to run it 8,000 feet, you're not going. You're, I don't think you would make it singular. I would think fair. everybody right. along the way would tie into it. I would think. So what what kind? Or opportunity, but yeah. Yeah. Or have yeah, yeah they, they, the, the, the total build out size should be everything you pass by, right? Yeah, because yeah. you got to look at that. So, I wish I saw I wish I saw the elevations. That it could if you're are you using eight inch eight inch or you're using six inch clay, plastic, ABS. Have you got the base design, which you had guys said uh, gone through with Berkshire, or was it just routes? Uh, I think it was a four inch force main, and I'm trying to recall what mm -hmm. the, if it identified so you have a force main? the gravity part. At the end, I'm just trying to recall if it said the So thing. you'd be responsible for 8,000 feet of pipe along our roadway? It actually doesn't say it in here. I have uh, forever. It's such a long term, forever. isn't it? It's a long term. <laughs> That doesn't sound like a good deal for the town. Either. Say that again. That doesn't sound like a good deal for the town. If the town is responsible for the. Oh, I'm the saying if you got if you got you're going to put eight thousand feet of force main. Probably, f at least three, if not four inch, for eight thousand feet, and you you would be responsible for the maintenance and operation of that pipe forever. Well, I guess that's the question. I guess. Or right? it would be. I mean, in other words, say, <laughs> so say, say in this, in, in most conditions, right? A town says, okay, we want to extend a sewer, disregarding us for a minute. We yeah. want to extend the sewer, so we're we're going to try to raise the public interest in doing that, and the town's going to pay for it. The town's going to maintain it. In the condition here, I assume we'd be saying, well, okay, so a developer wants to put in the system. The developer's going to pay the upfront costs. There will be potential buyer, you know, additional buyers along the way that might want to tie into it. But is the condition after that that the town takes care of it, and that makes more sense, or is the condition that the only way we'd ever do that is if the developer was willing to take on not only the first cost but the maintenance cost? From a developer standpoint, I would say, sure, it might make sense from the numbers for us to do the first cost, but I can't imagine it makes sense for us to do the numbers for the extended cost. But you understand. I don't know what those are. Right. Well, no, I, I don't either. But but I'm 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 just thinking if you if I, I'm you know, a, a, there's there's a huge difference between the cost of a force main versus a, a gravity for me to tie into. So right now, Mark Zinen wants to tie into. A you actually go by his house you, in you one of the proposals. That's why he's here. You, you, <laughs> you, 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 want, you want to tie into a sewer system. Yeah. A, a, a gravity, you could go, if your bleach field is in front of your house, you could actually technically tap right off. You could right. go right, tap right onto, right, the, right. right onto the, uh, the tank and yeah. the septic tank and 
And cheap ball will say, well, we probably don't want to do that, but it, it go to the sewer and you're all done. But if you have a, if you're tying into a pump pressure main, mm -hmm. right? But that's why I want to do that. I think it's, I think it is gravity mo on the plum tree road approach. It's gravity most of the way until the end. But although we need the list stations along the way, right? Yeah, that makes sense. But I no. think it's at the end that we become force main. We'd have to be force main to get into your system, right? I think by elevation that was the that was the point. It had to be there was a gravity sewer at half an inch uh, from your mark at uh, 149 is our low point, and that's over by kitchen garden. Mm -hmm. But again, it's 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 gravity pump, gravity pump, gravity yeah. pump. Yeah, yeah. Kind of the way the systems are set up right now. That said, to Tom's point, there's a there's a huge lot of engineering that has to go, Scott. Sure. Oh, I agree. As well as, I mean, you're tying into you're putting pump stations in residential areas, mm -hmm. like generators. Generators, lights. Now, I personally, I think right now the average septic or the sewer bill is what? Two sixty-two. I was gonna say two sixty-five. Yeah. So yeah, we're, we're on the right page, Sherry. I think you'd rather people rather pay two sixty-five than twenty thousand dollars for a raised system. That makes sense, but. You have, to, I mean, do we have the capacity in the plant? So that nameplate piece is something where it's a home. Oh, there's, a lot, of, there's yeah. a lot of work that's mm -hmm. going to be done. And uh, I'm a little concerned about like tapping out the capacity for this one, essentially from mostly what this is one project. Mm -hmm. And then not leaving, you know, then if we wanted to loop any of the rest of the time, we could, you know, at some point down in the future. I don't want to hamstring us either. Well, it's important to bear in mind this if this this extension from Sugarbush Meadows to the municipal treatment system is only in two locations. When we talk about tapping out the system or really expanding the system, the question is, what means or methods are used for opportunity for residents to tie in? A. What point is there? Is is the overall goal to turn it into a municipal system? Right. right, first order of business. Is it overall goal to say, hey, 10 years from now, you guys own and maintain it, right? That's, that's, that's one question. Uh, the next is, is it sized for everybody it goes by? Yep. Because as of 25 years from now, and as a sewer commissioner named Mark Zynan sitting here, Keep, he's good for it. Um, for <laughs> sitting, sit, sitting here, and it's like, oh, damn it, we have to, Put you know duplex system in because that one was sized for everything but this one piece. Right. And we and then, can't. I can't tie in there. And it's Matilda. And Matilda's mad. And then I'm thinking at the end of the line. Right. Well, we have a higher output of sludge. Well, that's that's a cost too. that's incurred. Uh, yeah. We just paid 0.8 cents uh, going to Blackstone Station. Eight cents a eight cents a gallon. Yeah. yeah. Again, the cost of operation, yeah. the final disposal. And you guys, you guys are to understand that that kind of math. And those those locations are coming harder and harder these days. It seems counterintuitive to take sludge and incinerate it, but that's the system, unfortunately, right? Okay, so what are you you're, what are you asking tonight? I guess. I guess what we're asking is, what is the process that we would all go through to determine if this is worth pursuing, and in that process, we could get to. A juncture really quickly that or you might know right now that it's not worth pursuing for the town for whatever reason and and we don't know those reasons so that's really why we're asking just because we're like okay this is a, this is a thing that seems to make sense but it might not and, and we recognize that so what's the how do we figure that out so so mr. chair I would think that what we need to do is go back we did Five years ago, six years ago, seven years ago. It's probably longer than we think, but yeah, somewhere between but five see, and ten. See what see what the uh, the last the study was one. going up the south side, yeah. down the south side. Yeah. Compare that, and then we have to we have to talk to we'd have to find out what the capacity is, what mm -hmm. what the um, what the actual use would be it, it does scare me a little bit because i know that you're renting beds now versus apartments that changes a lot in my opinion but 
the state doesn't think it does. But well, headcount to I, fixtures I, change. Huh? Headcount to fixtures change. You can Absolutely. have a fixture, but if it's in use 24-7, that's a different right. volume. And you've right? got a higher headcount. Right. Right. So, um, so yeah, I, I mean, it, it's a lot. Of, I mean, it, it has, it, it's, it's a project, I mean, yep. to start. I mean, I guess there's probably a couple of early questions that could just kick it right out right away. Like the capacity beyond, you know, take the route, take our, our, our use and then the route. Mm -hmm. And if that capacity is within some percentage, you might say right out of the gate, let's too close. We don't, we don't want to do it. I just, and those, well, that's can, a pretty simple uh, question. Can, in, in, in my opinion, I'll be perfectly honest, that if you're not, if you're not helping the, if you're, if you're not, putting that sewer line in to offer it to everybody along the route, um, I wouldn't know why we would do that. Right. Be no, no, right. Yeah. For, for me. There's no I, Well, I, if you, yeah, if if you got seven, 8,000 feet of pressure main along along that thing, and it's not, it, and, if, and, and if it's not being accessible to the people that live on that. Sure. I, if I lived along the road, I'd, I'd feel. Burned. Yeah. So again, so, you're, so you're this, there's, there's, there's currently there's there's, 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 there's currently a, it, from Google Earth anyway a quick a quick 50 houses from where you guys enter and tick 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 and have your way and then to the credit of the route there's a big piece of APR there's another piece of APR so you don't have to worry about that whoever the designer may well be uh, if we were to, to vote to extend or to enter into some design agreement. These pieces aren't going to get developed without legislative approval, so you don't have to worry about that. That said, it's still 50 extra houses, ish, at a quick glance. That is what you're talking about being equitable to the residents that that goes by. Well, I, I again, when yeah, it has it has to be equitable, right? If it's not. Right. I have a volume question too, because if the facility is done by beds, wouldn't that be a more accurate count? Than well, total fixtures? volume. I think your fixture, your, your fixture versus uh, head count is gonna. There's some there's some noise inside of that math, and I think our board of health agent could get involved in that right. and saying, listen, if it's really 150 units with four residents, it's different than 150 units with five residents, just by total volume. Mm -hmm. Right. Our That's our right. math for tie-in is simply by fixture. So again, head count is a little bit of a nuance inside of that, uh, and that's an important baseline calculation because you wouldn't want to undersize either for your needs or undersized for the goals of taking care of people that it goes by. So then there's the whole utility section, right? Do we cross water, which I'm sure we do. Where do those elevations go? The water district is involved. Lift station, it's general. Stream that the but I'm thinking about the water district. There's a lot. There's a, basically everybody here is served by the water district. Mm -hmm. So there's a fair amount of water main and lateral that's inside of there yep. as well. So those questions come up. Plus one ditch. I mean, intermittent stream. <laughs> They're on the same committee. Ditches don't exist. <laughs> intermittent stream. <laughs> But from an engineering perspective, is a broader picture than the, I'll use a, a number, six inch force main or four inch force main. I think, I, I think that we need to talk to Rich and see what, I, I think Rich would have to do some, I, I think we would be, we would be smart. I seldom use that word associated with the board of awesome. Um, <laughs> That we talked to Rich and and maybe he we would have to use some monies to see what mm -hmm. actually and what the potential build out would look like. Mm -hmm. Also, I mean, I, I you have to look at and and again there there's advantages to a sewer system, mm -hmm. right, Mr. Bell? About uh, ball? Yeah. There's advantages, but at the same time, we have to make it fair to the people that's going past. So, okay, fair. Well, so, Mr. Chair. tie and bond proposal, original design, yeah. conceptual design, right? Yeah. Uh, when we spoke at our prior meeting, we said four to six months issue timeline. We're in that first public kind of discussion right now. So we're, we're still inside of that timeline. That hasn't changed much. Um, and then ideal, right? 
ideal number of potential tie-ins. So as the math scales up, if everybody chooses to tie in, well, that's one thing. And then lift station capacity, and then the end of the pipe capacity, that's the actual plant. And that being the lift station as proposed here. Well, there's another stream across Mohawk too, except by a kitchen garden. Yeah. So the dip is. Yes. Yeah, good point. Well, you, you, you cross the brook twice. Yeah. yeah. You cross uh, Hatchery, well, whatever they call it. That's Mohawk where the Hatchery is. When well, there's, there's two brooks. There's a brook on Plum Tree. Yeah, yeah, no, Russellville. And there's a brook on Silver Lane. Right, Mohawk. Yeah. Whatever. You got a down pat. Well, if you're, if you're a long time resident, you don't call them Mohawk Brook. And yeah, yeah, well. They have other names, but. It'll take me 80 years to be a long time resident. Two brooks. Okay. One's better fish than the other. And they both actually they both come out of hatcheries. Right. Mm. There's just different. 18 ones. years count as a long time resident, I have to hit 80. No. Is, is 29, the answer is no. What, what is the, what is yeah. the criteria to go on? Yeah. Third generation. Yeah. 1885. Yeah, right? exactly. <laughs> Just, you know, you know the politics. Um, uh, with respect to homework, Tom, uh, ours is dusting off proposals, nameplates of both the output as well as the lift station. That's important to bear in mind. Nameplate of the total plant and lift station. Mm -hmm. I think... If it's Berkshire Design has gotten, I'm hearing a route, potentially two routes, uh, and one route goes by a handful of homes. And again, I'll use a handful based on the fact that we've got, you know, 1,800 properties, whatever it is. You've got 50-ish you go by, and I'm making that number up based on squares. Um, so that math we can probably get from rich about what is an individual home how many of those are individuals are there any multi-families what does it look like and then well, what does it cost we should ask kurt and the company about what does it cost i mean what are the processes for crossing a stream well, well crossing the streams and again you, you have to you have to do a build out study not not necessarily what's there now but what could mm -hmm. be there yeah so right. somebody so somebody has to look at the zoning bylaws and and they have to say you know does a built zoning bylaws allow for for duplexes or triplexes or whatever right so you have an ideal right right so uh, so if you're allowing a house if there's a house there now there's a if there's a dwelling <coughs> unit there now can that be increased to you know so can that can that size increase mm -hmm. Right. Can you go to a multifamily if it's like a big old house? Yeah, they can do yeah. multifamily, yeah. yeah. Yep. So you, you have to so somebody has to do the build out. Somebody has to look at at the property to see if it's built if it's APR and or if it's sixty one A and or right. if it's just line fallow, such as there's a twenty acre piece across from South Plain Road right now that somebody yeah. that could come in and said, Hey, this would be a great place to build. Oh, you couldn't build a hundred and fifty units there. Well, yes, you can. Yes, if you can. go to the if you go to the state and you say I'm going to build an affordable housing apartment complex, yeah. then they let it come in. Um, that throws out all our bylaws that the town has crafted over the years. So, um, so yeah, you have so you have somebody has to do that. It's 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 a it's a project. Just the engineering is a project. And the homework too. Well, right, for it's got. Uh, I, I'm just talking. Just I never rode my tractor down that road. I should have. Oh, I have. Yeah. yeah. But but, <laughs> you, but, you, but, if you, but if you but if but if you but if you think about it, <laughs> how 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 many if you go down, Mark, yeah. how many how many places? So you'd have to have a, a pump station someplace on North Plain Road, I would assume. I would assume so. Where would you put it? The lowest point of the pitch. Why well, understand? Before you I understand. Out, I understand right? engineering, yeah. right? But, yeah. but I don't understand whose house does it get stuck in. Front right. In other of. words, yeah. if it has to go no. on your property, no. do you know what I mean? Like denied. <laughs> His house. That that'd be my only concern. Denied. You know, it, 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 and I know how. I mean, I know get under the brook is easy. Directional boring, boom, boom, boom. It's it's done. It's not. That's that's simple. 
It really is. I, I mean, I don't want to be flipping about no, it, but they, they go under the Anasquam River in, in Gloucester. And yeah, they went under the harbor in Boston, right? So they can... Yeah. Yeah. But so I, they, that's easy to get under the river. I mean, the brook, that's... Yeah. It would seem like at this stage, mm -hmm. it should be pretty compelling right out of the gate. Yeah, you know, like if it's not, it would seem like if it's not compelling right now, it'd be a hard lift to make it compelling later. Our only point was we're doing some amount of work for a sewer system on our site. Mm -hmm. We could find it advantageous to do this other work at a later date. If it was advantageous for the town, mm -hmm. might it make sense to get together and do it together in some fashion. Mm -hmm. But if it's not on the back of the envelope, doesn't make sense. No is an okay answer too. Sure. <laughs> yeah, we're we're just because we're here. Right, right. Bringing it up. That's yeah, I appreciate awesome. you bringing bringing yeah. this to the table. No. So, so I would say Rich has to. We have to talk to Rich about what it would take to put a study together to to come up with a uninformed decision. Okay. So Rich, talk it is. Time. So we'll talk with Rich right off. And I'm sure, I'm sure we're missing some things. I guess maybe another. Well, we'll talk with Rich first. You're absolutely right. I don't want to yeah, get. Because, I, I don't want I to mean, get ahead of my skis. If, if it if, if it can benefit people, then you do it. If you can benefit the residents, then you do it. But mm -hmm. that's that's the thing is how do you make it? How do you make it fair? Right. That to me is how do you make it fair? And 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 like I said, I don't think sewer is a bad thing. I think for public health, sewer is a good thing. Mm -hmm. Good point. You know, but I also know what it costs to maintain eight thousand feet of pipe. Correct. How much would it cost to, to you guys to? Uh, sounds like a massive infrastructure project. It is. And it sounds like millions. I mean, it's it's a it's a big number, and at the end of the day, we would be balancing well, what are our maintenance costs for the existing facility long right. term right. versus right. this? Right. So, so for, same for you guys. I mean, it's the question of the cost and the potential benefit down the, down the line. It's. It's not a slam dunk on our side yeah, either. Right, <laughs> right, right. Yeah. It, it would have been certainly much more advantageous if if it if there was time to not do the wastewater treatment facility. Right. There's a measure of so redundancy. You got to do that anyway. It's good point. We're really talking about ongoing, you know, the lifespan of a wastewater treatment facility. Those costs, the maintenance costs, because there are significant maintenance costs too. So sure. it's not an easy calculation on either side. It's a really good way to describe it. We always ask about that, by the way, just so you know. Maintenance site. Once the maintenance of yep. the mm -hmm. public, public water supply and the public wastewater treatment plant. I always thought those were difficult. They, they are expensive. So somebody has to run them. Right. They need to make sure they work, right? Yeah. The back yeah. And, and mm -hmm. because now, like, well, if you had, if, if you had a, uh, your private water supply, you have to have probably a VSS licensed individual and treatment and Sarah's here. distribution. It's it's expensive. And in a wastewater treatment plant, I mean, they may be required to hire somebody to maintain it also. Probably not full time, but you'd have to have a licensed person yeah, operating. A maintenance contract and all that. So. Yeah, it's not, it's. All adds up. Yeah, it absolutely does. So okay, so I would do that, Scott. I would, I would say, let's mm -hmm. talk to, to to Rich and mm -hmm. get our questions in place. See what see what it would cost. get that time bond study out. Do some math and yep. then uh, get back to you within uh, uh, two weeks. Okay. Okay. You sent us a note today about public way. All right. So the question on that was: Is there any in this? Again, it's just sort of a high level question. Is there ever a condition where it is advantageous for the town to take on what, what is currently a private way as a public way? And I don't know what would drive that on your side. I, I just don't know the dynamics of you know more roads, more tax <laughs> I don't know. That's, that's, you guys aren't putting in 25 miles of road, so it doesn't no, help that much. It's, it's that you're, you're, putting, you're putting in 25 miles of density. <laughs> In, in a three quarters of a mile road, so, so that's a pretty be, high level be, be candid there. about that, Peter. I'm just wondering as you go uh, down this road of investigating uh, the feasibility of this or the desirability of this, uh, there will Sorry. be a point, and it may be fairly soon, that you'll be incurring some costs. Will those costs be borne by the developer, even if you end up saying no? 
It's a great question. We could talk to our chief operator and understand I, I, what I'm hearing is what uh, probably an RFQ for engineering is. What does it look like? What does an ideal tie come together? You know, if it's 150 units at one end, and we go by, and again, I'm using the word, I'm using the number 50. We use 50, we go by with a potential of 50 more. What does that system actually look like versus we build the system today and it's too small for five years from now? I mean, what, what do we do? So to your point, Peter, once we get done with the conversation with uh, uh, Rich, uh, chief, op, chief engineer of the system, there may be requirements that come out that say, ah, I don't know, we need to look at something different. No, but I mean, I'm just thinking that you're talking about doing a bunch of different things. Yeah, right. And some of them, I'm assuming you're going to be paying somebody to do, whether it's even just paying our town administrator a certain number of hours or sure. something like that. And um, it seems to me that, you know, there ought to be question as to whether the developers are covering those costs, even if before very long we end up saying, no, nope, the town's not interested. Fair question. You know, because that's the <coughs> cost of you know, whatever the project turns out to be, from nothing to a final okay and go ahead with it, mm -hmm. are you covering costs from day one or are you not? Question. Yes. Um, I, <coughs> I don't see, again, um, part about putting forward what Rich would be doing would be putting together some numbers to, to kind of give us an idea of what it would cost then as we talked about earlier at best we would ask at a special or yeah, funding. or yeah. at an annual to appropriate the funds if we in work in conjunction with the the petitioner at that at that point right. and see if that the petitioner would pay for it all or the town would pay for it all but we've got to kind of develop numbers what it would, i i have no idea i i I so forgot what the see. last cost. I should look, but that, but that's a dated, dated cost. And it's a different route, but anyway, it's, yeah. I think the the key considerations of any of the designs that have come out of extending south are the ability to tie in the number of parcels that are available, yeah. and yeah, that, that that scope that scope should extend or that concept should extend to anything that goes along, you know, eight thousand feet of a public way. So whatever the whatever the concept is now, the concept may well be what 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 happens. But to Peter's point and to your point, at some point there's some engineering that happens inside of here, and who who bears those costs? Absolutely. Yeah. Understood. Yeah. But I mean, I'm I'm again I'm the board of selectmen, select board. We're not officially select board yet. I, I know. Guess. I know. That's why I've been saying awesome. I know. It's the interim. <laughs> Is that why you've been saying honestly? That's absolutely right. We don't have a name right now. Okay. But but we what we would need we would we would need um town meetings approval before we spend right. any money. Let's right. put that way. Um unless um, in, in 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 the past, like when the the kitchen garden came kitchen garden farm and Thomas Farm and others have come to us about extending. We've always told them that they have to have, they've had to do the engineering, mm -hmm. get the engineering approved, then they submit it to our people. Our people then look at it and say it's good engineering or bad engineering if it's good. And, and then if it's good, they, we allow them to do it. But then what we've done in the past is that they've been responsible for maintaining that system. So if they get a clog, which happens, or a pump fails, which happens, or break they're responsible for the maintenance right. and operation right. of that until because they always tie into a manhole then once they get to a manhole then it's uh we we ask do we right. have enough capacity in the manhole because that's the other thing we have to find out if we do does a present sewer line support mm -hmm. that the, the point of connection yep. yeah yep. so we we drop this so we we'd be dropping into that point do we have from that point and I don't know if we have four inch or six inch or eight inch at that point. We, we'd have to find out to make sure we have enough capacity. So, I mean, you, there, if we were going to have a quiet fall, it would get, it, it just exponent, exponentially more work to do. Right. Right? Absolutely right. And we're not building it. 
So two weeks. Okay. Peter? I guess I'm still not sure because I would, I guess maybe I'd ask the person here who's representing the developer, and that is that you said you would bear the cost of building this whole operation uh, if the town was willing to, to, to allow it. Uh, if we go through a process and spend a lot of money and maybe we get town meeting to approve, I don't know what, are you willing to pay the cost even though we say no, we're not going to get involved? Are you I, willing to pay town's out-of-pocket costs for, for just looking into it and then even if it eventually says no? I would expect that, frankly, we'd, we'd get to a go-no-go -no -go well before that. Well, before there were any costs? I, I actually do think we would get to a go-no-go -go -go in very short order because I think, as I said, at this stage, it should be really obvious. If it's not really obvious, you shouldn't do it. That's my view. So, and we don't need to do it. We're simply here because we're saying this is, this is something that could make sense for us and the town to work on together. Mm -hmm. if, if the town doesn't want to, that's okay. Right. We're just really presenting the opportunity. And I really do think it should be very obvious. I think we have to do all those initial investigative things you're talking about, because who the heck knows, right? right. I mean, right. But I think those first six questions are going to give us the Pretty answer. Pretty easy, right? I, I really do. Good point. Uh, road, public way. <clears throat> Sounds like you answered that already. <laughs> we're, we're not putting in 25 miles of road. So You're putting in 25 miles of residence and a three quarter of a mile road. So, so that I, I kind of answers the question that there's right. really no, there wouldn't be any compelling reason that the town would ever take over roads unless we were doing a large development with lots of roads. <laughs> yeah. I know I shouldn't say this. Go ahead. But you're going to say it. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a public meeting, it's, right? It, it is. It, and, and I, and I, right. I've been I've been involved with the since day one, and and I remember when 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 Mr. Nielsen first came, and to our town administrator by a gentleman by the name of Bob B. Biggio at the time, Biagi yeah, yeah. at the time, and and he said the planning board wasn't wouldn't talk to Mr. Nielsen, and I go, geez, I know Dana Roscoe for a long time, and at the time it was uh, Russ Prentice. I said both are very outstanding, good communicative type of guys. I said I, I find it hard to believe that they aren't communicating, and I said sure, I'll talk to I'll talk to Dana and, and Russ, and they said Tom, we're more than happy to talk to him, but we don't have a plan. As soon as they put something on paper, we're glad to look at that plan. That's how Mr. Nielsen started 10, 12, whatever, how many years ago. And, and the entire thing, through the entire permitting process, we never saw a plan. And, and now, the last plan, I, and why I chuckled, is that the last plan I heard that was approved was that the all access would be on be, be, because everything is tied together and all access was to be to occur off from one on and off from 116 not on plum tree right. and now if, now if we put a road through there now our, now now we're allowing people to drive around my my concern mm -hmm. I, I, and and, I, and this is that. unfortunate that that it is the whole thing works the way it is is I still think you're going to have problem between you and I just talking two guys without the cameras on us right now. I still think you're going to have problems with traffic on 116, and or you would have traffic at that intersection on Plum Tree if you brought people on and off from there. When when school started the other day, and Mark, you live on the road, getting out onto 116 is very difficult right now. I, I don't know how it's going to I don't know how it's going to happen, and and I just and I, for me for safety going through the complex if we made it a public way, oh my gosh I, I think we would end up in in I I think personally I, I think you and and I I'm not just you know you guys. They're out there building. They, they look like fine. You know, the Western builders are, are rep, very reputable people, and they're going to build nice things. But I don't think you want that traffic heading through. <coughs> if if you guys did something on your to going on to 116, or if the state did something on 116 on that intersection, 
then that's going to make a th through fare through. I think that'd be tough. Mm -hmm. I understand why you're asking it. I just it would be difficult. Right, but again, I think that's I that's the first blush answer where it's like. Sometimes the answer is obvious right out of the gate, and I just don't know what perspective you guys come from. So it's so that's a perfectly fine answer. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I know. I, you you have to understand. I mean, you know, we we thought, we did what we thought was best, and 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 you have to, you, we accept the rule of the law. Like unlike some people in higher office today, we don't we don't accept the rule of law anymore. Unfortunately, Boris. But but <laughs> I'm sorry, to, sorry, to all that. But but. But and, and, and I understand the, the project is going forward, and, you're gonna, and there, there's a lot of reasons that you guys want to make it. The, the, but on, on this one about going through, I, I can see, I can understand why you would want to do that. I, and we, we had a selectman a long time ago. Um, his name was John Field. And John Field, I think it was on Pine Nook, Pine Nook Road. Okay. Or Pine, Pine, what's the name? Pine Court, thank you, Mark. Oh, uh, Plum Tree. In, 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 pi in Pine Court. Let's talk sidewalks. Sidewalks is next, by the way. Was, was, put up by, <laughs> was put up by a developer, by a subdivision control bylaw. And, and, and after they, they petitioned the town to, to accept it as a public way. And in the, in the conversation, and it's like, the town was saying, well, why would we want to do that? You know, that you built the road, you, uh, you, you take it. And, 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 John, and John said, John Field said, well, they built the road to your town specification, their town residents, there's your friends or neighbors. Why wouldn't you, why, after, after you make sure the road doesn't fall apart after three to five years, why wouldn't they allow them? Because they built it to, you told them how to build the road, they built the road that way. It made a lot of sense. But this, we're not telling you how to build your road. I, I would have a hard time. Yeah, and we're not so the point of this question is to open anything. up. Sorry, from, the point of this question is to open up access through Plum Tree. Is that why you're asking this question? Well, no, I actually mean, not. But actually, yeah, I don't think it's yeah, actually. I mean, access. Either way, yeah. uh, we're not suggesting we're changing anything. Actually, we're just looking for really a gut reaction on: Is there ever any reason why? for ancillary reasons that the town may find it advantageous to take on a town road. I think you just answered the question, actually. Mm, I know. And that answer is crystal clear and perfectly fine. We're not suggesting that we're even going to petition you. We're just, I was just asking the question. Okay. So. Have you, have you thought about access on the 116? Have you, you've been out there, right? Yeah. Okay. So you're looking at that probably? I'm there. Every day. Not every day, every week for sure. You know what it's like when someone tries to take a left turn into the gas station and all of a sudden the seven cars are now in the breakdown lane because the person's stuck there on 116 heading southbound trying to take a left. I know you're on the other side. It's, oh, it's I, just going to be amazing when we have 400 more cars I, trying to I take just, turns around that. And, and I, it's I just, amazing. And, and it's, and it's uh, the school started, UMass started, yeah. and, and you probably noticed the additional traffic, but then all the people in that area that, that go to the university, I, I'm, I'm coming home now at, at, at the end of the day and I'm seeing people run across the street. People that, I mean, it's unfortunate, but people, I, I know two people that died on that road um, because they got hit by cars. Three, actually three people that, that died. I don't want it to happen again. And, 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 it, and, it's, and, it's, and, it's a, and, that, and that was one of the things that we said from, and you weren't, guys weren't involved in the very beginning, right. but that, that's been a concern of mine all the time. And, and then I saw the other day coming home, it was Thursday, Friday, whatever, and, and there was like five students that had got off on a bus in front of the leasing company, American Leasing, and, and they ran across the road and had go, mm. that. So and they were going, they weren't going to your place. They were going to some some other place. But it was just, it was just concerning to me. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm sorry, but I, 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 I just don't, I just don't want to see anybody hurt there. I, I really don't. I just want to see a safe intersection. I want to see people be able to turn. I, I and that's that's been a concern of mine right right along. It's, it's we have to do it safely. Well, and plus too, none of the other roads in any of the other complexes are public roads. There's no precedent for that. In the no. Inside a complex, that's correct. Because this is not a street with individual homes on it. The, the, only, the only, David, excuse me for one second, the yeah. only advantage to have it if it's a public <laughs> way is in buses could 
pick people yep. up and drop Fair. them off yep. if it's a public way. Fair. They could the school buses could go through there, the the PVTA buses could, could go through right there yep. because it's it's a that would that would be right. a and not to say they can't go but, but some places but sometimes the pe the the public transportation won't go through uh -huh. or go on public property. Yeah. Private property. Private yeah, excuse yeah, me. Yeah, private property. Yep. So the only advantage I would see about us taking that would be an advantage mm -hmm. is that it's fair. you would be more likely not to have people getting on and off the bus on one sixteen. Right. Okay. Gotcha. That would be that would be my I could see that. Okay, so let's 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 send a let's send a, a positive message since you're looking for a, a you know the the five thousand foot view. Is there any interest of this board taking over that as a public way? I'll entertain a motion. Sure, motion. Is there a second for discussion. You have to discuss. Right. I mean, we've always discussed. Yeah, second right. for discussion. Okay. So you've hit on some of the high points. You're looking for some. Uh, Relief from I got your email here. That's what I'm looking at. Uh, relief from Eversource charges, essentially. So, is there anyone at Eversource that is forcing this particular issue, or is this new policy by them? And I know they're not in the room, and I'm not trying to make yeah. a boogeyman out of them. They're they're a bit weird. I'm in the business. <laughs> they're just a bit weird right now. Yeah, and, so. and obviously these things function differently in different regions of the state. Correct. We just noted to them that. Their position was kind of surprising to us as developers because typically, whenever we are bringing on new accounts, yep. it doesn't actually. We've never heard the, de the delineation between public and private way. Sure. Um, he seemed to say that that was part of their rate regulatory process. He asked hmm. the question. I said, I honestly have no idea, and I frankly said, I don't know that I could ever see the town doing that, right. but I will certainly. Ask. And, ask and, right. and see if there is any ancillary advantage that I don't know about for right, the right. town. Where again, we might have an advantage and you might have an advantage. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter if there's not to the town, we just keep marching ahead. But right, right, right. Our, our job is generally to find areas of question and try to just resolve them sure. in a way that if there's a productive way to do it, collaboratively, great. If there right. isn't, we just keep marching ahead yep. and take on the cost that we're supposed to take on. Okay. And, and uh, but as I could, if I could, at this point, I appreciate that that style perspective in our in our discussion downstairs. As one uh, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, as a designee of the uh, of the board, it was very practical. It was just like, here's what we're thinking. What, what is this? What what? How possible is this? And we're having a similar discussion tonight. And for that, I appreciate that. No, you know, histrionics or any of that stuff. Right. So thank you for that. That said, Eversource is basically out of the, you know, if you consume more, we'll work with your business. They're not the same company. Apparently. <laughs> they are absolutely not the same company. So uh, that, that said, um, I guess the question would be, do we know anyone at Eversource we can put in a nice word to outside of taking a public way? I don't know that, but. So, so I, I, would, I would ask Sherry if she could contact PVTA and see if PVTA is willing to, if, um, would be Stop willing to move the bus stop off the... Uh, off of 116? Off of 116 yep. into the... Fair. And, and they would still have to talk to the developer. They, they're yep. probably paperwork and stuff that they'd have to figure out. But, but my, if, if you're looking at the safety of the site... Yep. The more mass transit you can get off of the curb, the better everyone is. I, so I would be. ask, I, I would see what, what if PVTA has a policy about um, dropping off inside a, a, a pro, or driving their buses on a private, mm -hmm. private way, private complex. Yep. I don't, I, cause I, I don't think they go off and they, well, but they do a little, they do do sugar. Sugarloaf. They do sugarloaf. They do go through that's sugarloaf. Good. And that's, that's not. That's they go in there. They go in there. Right. Yep. And. The thing is, is if you just move the stop from there, like inside the complex, yeah. then I don't know how many users there are. There are some out there, then they'd have to walk mm -hmm. all the way in. Uh, and again, I, I, I would just like, if we could get clarification sure. from them on that. I, that that would be a point of discussion okay. for safety, safety reasons. Sure. Again, getting people to use I know they're not I know they're not supposed to be a uh, student housing. Correct. But just in case there's a one or two students that use that housing, it could be one or two. 
Um, I, I would like to know that because I, I, I think that ma it matters to me at least. I'll have to ask if they, if they pull into Cinda's place because they got a bus stop right across the way. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But then the bus would have to cross 116 and take north. He's saying the bus heading north would take a left into the complex sure. so the kids don't have to cross the road. Yeah. And the bus has to come out and cross 116. No, it, yeah, they, they, no, it wouldn't do that. I don't think it would do that. that. I, I think what it would what it would do it would continue on its route. It would go down, and do the sugar loaf, and then come back, mm -hmm. and then drive in on its way back. It would it would not stop on on the road. That's what happens at Sugar Loaf Estates now. They come off of 47 right, into Sugar Loaf, a stop, and they return with a right hand turn back to their route. No, but I'm saying I, yeah, you're heading no. north. You have to cross the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's right. A complex. right, right. Then the bus has to come out onto 116. Sure. But, but it would yeah. it would when it come when yep. it came back to one sixteen yep. yeah. it would be taken a right. It's a, no. No, it's still it has to do the northbound route. And it's gonna it, it go the right by the right. complex. You're still gonna have to get back on a one sixteen northbound. We'll trade this one for the mall because the mall they just dropped for whatever reason, which is beyond mindset. But Wait, mall. Yeah, I yeah. Saw the mountain, mountain Farms mall. Mountain Farms mall. Plus PBT is not stuff that. Oh, okay. So, so when when you're coming when you when you're coming by the because they know you're getting into this. Right? Right? Yeah. <laughs> Northbound. Yeah. You don't stop. You just, you just keep go going. straight through. Okay. You only get them on then the return. Then you come do sugar, right. sugar loaf. Then you come back and you start heading south. Then you'd go in on on your right. south. Yep. Yep. And, and again. You can make those arrangements with the bus, the bus operation. Good point. Okay, we've got a motion and a second for discussion. Any more discussion? Not this time, no. Not I'm this time. Fine. Do we want to take this vote now about yeah. public way? Well, you can do it now. You can always bring it back. Correct. Yes. All those in favor of, of uh, entertaining, uh, taking, uh, what's the official name? Is this all Sugar Bush Meadows? Um, got, what's the brand? Come on, it's got to have a brand. It's it's actually Happy changed, Landing. It's permitted as Sugar Bush. Sugar uh, Bush. Sugar Bush Meadows. Yeah. Okay, Sugar Bush Meadows. Uh, at this time, accepting them as a public way. All those in favor? All those opposed? Aye. 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 Three to zero, uh, zero to three, please. So not at this point. Okay. There, you got a real decision out of a board. Yeah, how have? I mean, how rare does that happen? Of huh? <laughs> but we're we're going to get some more information. Okay. okay. So we'll be back uh, and in again. I I I really. It, I, I would highly recommend that we start talking to the state about. Well, especially because it's not like you're doing a one for one or two for one. In other words, one unit, say it's a two bedroom. I, I'll, I'll assume that uh, you don't have, well, because you're going by beds. You're probably short on parking spaces as it is now, so the volume is going to be higher than just going by unit counts. So, you know, we're, so we're, if it's a two bedroom, you may be packing like you know, like four people into there. So you you know you may end up. So with we're taking that information off of the DHCD filing you guys did. Mm -hmm. So it's important to bear that in mind. We're not making it up. So we get right. the same notice that you guys get. You know what we're talking about. We're not trying to be good cop, bad cop. It's just that it changed from rooms to beds. Mm -hmm. So we, we, we make it a point to bring that up. Well, and that's just, and right, it has nothing, to, it's just a factual it's thing. Factual. It's like if you're looking at beds versus right. number of bedrooms, you're gonna have more people and more vehicles. Mm -hmm. So you gotta factor that in. He's still squinting in the back. Because the bedroom count, the, the project was permitted as 150 units right. with 350 bedrooms. So that, that has not changed. Well, we get a notice from the DHCD saying that the count was going to be based on a bed count, not a room count. And that was from the DHCD. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what the right. distinction is. But yeah. I don't anyway. think the number changes in any way, but it might be just how they are looking at it. Okay. But However, yeah. however, it's 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 yeah. it's public notice, and it's like really, but we figure we'll continue to work to the extent that we can. Nothing has changed on the on, on the actual floor plans. Project, and, yeah. So. How many parking spots? I don't remember. How many parking spots? I don't remember oh. exactly, but that hasn't changed either. Oh. Or or like how many how many do you allocate per unit? Like do you do it by bedroom? Like so, and there's three bedrooms, three parking spots, or. Well, that's all in the ZBA, the permit bit. And okay. I think that's important yeah. to bear in mind. Well, that's, that's the but it's not. Because it's, it's Chapter 40. They don't have to 
but they're working under a comprehensive permit that's been approved and it has conditions. Yep. So the par the parking spots have been approved. Right. I'm just trying to remember how many spots. Right. Are, right. No longer a number. No, and it, it was yeah. I wasn't really focusing on the spots. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm thinking more of the traffic. Right. Cars. Totally. Right. Traffic. Yep. Totally agree with that. But I guess folks will find out. You know. A set of plans downstairs, we can figure it out. Yeah. It's pretty easy. Yes, it is. Right? It's pretty mm -hmm. easy. It's just, yeah, right? Yeah. There's a permit, and the building's being built. Buildings are being built. The ground is being treated that way. They have squeezed the buildings to protect the wellheads, and that's a whole other discussion, but mm -hmm. that's not for tonight. I appreciate you in, in <laughs> allowing us. I'm going to be started. Um, allowing us to kind of go a little far afield for the one thing you came in for. I thought it was appropriate. Yeah, came in for two. Well, they would notice this of two, but we came in, came in for two. It's all, it's, good discussion. it's all good discussion. So uh, with that, a uh, couple of weeks, and we'll talk about sewer. And as of now, no. Okay, good. Easy. I like answers. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much. Appreciate hey, that. Yeah, appreciate it, guys. Yep. Okay, Thanks next so next up, we've oh, got, yeah, yeah. We've got uh, some quick minutes of 826. Motion. Second. Motions made and seconded for the minutes of 826. They get long, as every fall, they just get longer. It turns into two pages and two sides. All those in favor of the minutes? Three to zero, please. Okay. And then we want to talk about Community Pathways Committee Chair naming School Street, School Street of Awesome. Why? We've already done this. We've already changed the board's name to the Select Board of Awesome. We're going to change School Street to School Street of Awesome. <laughs> so, um, you got, you, I, you, I, that's I not that. often that you can make sure. I know. I, exactly. That was pretty yeah, good. I, I, caught, I <laughs> made sure to catch your text. You got, you got it. You got it. <laughs> um, did you get the email I sent? I didn't get it off. Okay. So it's it's just that, and, and as um, uh, as the residents of School Street made clear last week, we need we're we're, we need some more signage, which we are already in pro pro process of creating. Yep. Um, one for the uh, entrance to the library, mm -hmm. and one on School Street. So, like right now, I mean on 47. Right now, right, 47. In. One sign ball fields, one sign town offices, oh, one sign fair. library. And they're all bent, and they're all di different shapes and colors and stuff. Hmm. And that's um, part of our charm. <laughs> Sign pollution. It's twice now. Lots of signs <laughs> pointing this way. <laughs> yeah. um, which everybody complains about. Anyway, um, when I started to work on it, I realized, wait a minute. When I started to figure out what words go on this sign, I thought, wait, you know, this is we have this entity here, this public complex that has no name. And we've we've talked about in our meetings how you know Sunderland didn't have a commons or a green. Um, and and this now that we've kind of got the park and we've got everything connected, it's sort of like a, a comments or a green for the town. But we don't have a name for the you know the whole collection of public assets. Um, and it occurred to me that it would be um, beneficial to have a name for it. Um, it would help with the signage, and I think it would also. I mean, we we've, we've never gotten our. Uh, uh, you know, ecotourism plan in place or anything, but I do think we do have tourists coming now because of the park. Sure. And um, and I just think in terms of the um, economic development and um, and just just for convenience, like because like when I when I'm coming down to this area, where do I say I'm going? Like if I'm gonna go to the you know three different places, we don't. There's no name for it. Hmm. So, um, so I just I just wanted to see what you all thought before I moved ahead on spending money on signs and. You know. Was there consensus on signs from the original um, landscape design, and you did the combination of the the wayfaring and the branding, right? So we got color and font. Yeah. yeah. Do we decide on on the nomenclature of what we actually want to say? No, because we didn't. What because we were we our whole plan was just for the the park. Yep. 1.9 acres, and this is the the parking lot that it's kind of like an an after step that mm -hmm. we hadn't we hadn't thought through before. Hmm. It, ha it hadn't been part of our plan. Would I it, wish we had. Would it make sense to Would it make sense to consider this as the school street access project comes to 
congealing right now it's it's a it's a series of concepts mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right is that the appropriate injection of that discussion right but we've had those scapes right. right there what do they look like what are their what are their bits you know how do they direct people mark you want to actually crack that open like yeah. six yeah. inches yeah. thank yeah. you yeah. Out there. well i don't care if they're out there we can tell them to be quiet but we want to make sure people understand they can still come in this room or you know what i'm wondering would it be a good task for the village yeah, a first task for the village committee that. yeah that's true actually that's we're, in the, we're in the process of appointing that group yeah good point because yeah. that might be the good, because it's really part of that whole, you, you know, when you look at it holistically. Right, exactly. Yep. Okay, so Sarah, I appreciate you bringing that forward. We have a village center committee appointment as part of our uh, agenda right. tonight. Yes. So maybe as part of that working group yes. and that kind of brainstorming that's yes. going on, we can come up with a, a cohesive approach yes. as well as the impact after the 23rd public hearing uh, about uh, right. North Main Street. Because yeah. yeah. it still right. intersects here, right? So that's yeah. that's all three things coming together and put this under one umbrella in in each of those facets and yeah. see if we can't get something that's uh, uh, acceptable to everybody. Yeah, that, yeah, I, I think that's that's a great idea. Okay. And then maybe and I was the, I was uh, the I know you're going to get to it, but I'm going to be on the as the planning village center. Mm -hmm. Got it. And uh, but I just don't want to chair it. Okay. <laughs> That's, the, that's up to them well, if they choose to sacrifice the you. Do that, right? so, yeah. <laughs> they choose to sacrifice you. That's up to them. That's the best part about appointing a committee, Sarah. Is like the trick go is go for it. Say you don't want it because okay. then they'll be like, oh. <laughs> um, and, and if it does come to that too, could be a good thing for a, a townwide naming contest. You know. Yeah, we I could, tried that with how, the park. We could change the name to Montague. Well, that's how like, <laughs> Sorry. You know, you could end up with a Bodie McBoat face. There you go. I like that. You're right, exactly. It's a little hard. <laughs> but, I, tr I did try it with the park. It was a little unwieldy yeah. process. Uh, anyway. Nice. But I think that's a well, good spot for it, though. So, well, uh, one of the charges as far as the village center community. So that's one thing to look for. But also the three elements that are School Street, North Main, as well as Village Center, which extends to South yeah, Main and, and South uh, Main, right? uh, 116 as well. So, right. and then the ten, then the state will get involved, and who knows? We'll have a rotary yeah. with a bridge and a Ferris wheel, and it'll be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> the Sunderland and I. I like the Ferris wheel. <laughs> the <Sunderland laughs> there you go. Ferris wheel oh, for there pedestrians. Right, right on the river, you know. Ferris wheel for pedestrians. Less tall. We could make it about as tall as Sugarloaf. Yeah. Yeah. So when you go on the top seat, Love you're it. about that high. Love it. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> Okay, thanks. I just wanted to sort of start the discussion. Uh, thanks for bringing it forward, Sarah. Public comment. Throwing you this one. Well, I'm sorry. Public, public, public comment? About the naming of the. No, anything. Public street. comment. I moved off of that one. That, that is a check. Public comment. Oh, public comment. Yeah. I second your concern about the future traffic issues on Route 116, but there's nothing we can do about it. It's just. We, uh, just it's already I, I, crazy I, down there. I'm I amazed. Think. I, Another, I th ten years ago that we we talked and that was a big, big concern. I still remember Ruben Drake standing up and talking about it. I don't think, and that was ten years ago, and the traffic has just gotten it's more, um, ever, more it, people travel. Um, it's amazing. A roundabout, we'll put a roundabout in there. Well, it's a volume. It's a really funky volume. <laughs> people go fifty miles an hour down on sixteen. Here's the roundabout. But yeah, it's that was slowing down. <laughs> so they go flying over it. <laughs> It, it, uh, I, 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 but I, I, again, I think that it's a, we, when, if you see the traffic in the center of town between two thirty, three o'clock, and five thirty now, it's too much. That that's it's representative yep. that that traffic is down there also, yep. and what happens and is that. People think they're going to take a shortcut, or and they take a try to take a left, and, and, and it's, it's just getting much more difficult. It, and, and to take a coming out of Plum Tree onto 116 to go north, which right. would be taking a left-hand turn. Right. Yeah. Unless you're doing it Sunday morning at 7:30 in the morning, it's you have to wait a while. Yeah. And again, those are observations, and it, it's it's. I had a conversation with someone today that lives now in Florida, but she grew up in town. And I talked about a time when Charlie Hepburn 
there were some there were some developers that were talking about um, a piece of property development of a piece of property, and Charlie Hepburn said, "Well, you you can't do that because." because of the water and he explained what was going to happen the hydrologists and the engineers all said oh no you're all full of and so he built it according to plan because it's hard to go against the hydrologists and engineers and the first big storm guess what and and you could hear the water running down sure. like Charlie Hepburn said it was so you have to listen to what the old timers say once in a while because they, they've seen it they've experienced they may not know why they may not have the degree but their years of observation is, is worth a measurable amount. And that's what I think was people were saying on, on 116 Plum Tree Intersection. It's it's more, you gotta look beyond the traffic counts. Sure. So. Patterns. Patterns. No, that's it. Anything else with respect to? No, no, just when we get to the traffic, mobile traffic radar signs later on. You know, oh, yeah, yeah. Got it. it. Yeah. I have a book on those, by the way. Good job. Hey. Book on what? Book oh, on traffic yeah. signs. On traffic signs. Well, if you're gonna, if we're gonna buy something, I'm, I'm not that I disagree that to have a smiley face is a nice yeah. thing, yeah. but we should, we should Lighting buy, points. we should buy, we should buy something that's going to, that we can use and that's productive. So you can enforce a ticket on them. No plate well, reader. Oh, Jesus, no it, it made me like Mr. Wow. Deerfield. It made me hesitate when I saw the green go to red. Yeah. It made me think. Yeah. Wait a minute. Well, so well there, there's other. I, I I would say we have we have a quote and I I I do have a book on and I would unfortunately I forgot it. It's on my desk. Um, but when I said be useful is that you you can gather information within like in a 15 minute time frame so you know how fast people are going well, so it's blocks yeah. eight, eight, 18 cars are exceeding the speed limit right, from they record blah, blah, blah. So, so you're actually hmm. gaining you and it's yeah. solar so you're get, gaining information that'd be great if you can collect that information that'd be yeah, awesome. they, they and, do. and you're not That's giving great. tickets but but then we we could download the information it's bluetooth it, it's wi-fi bluetooth wi whatever yeah. but you can download that information and you can see, and it also has smiles, and, and it, and, and Thank they, you messages for they flash they messages. Go. It's all kind of stuff. But before we go ahead and authorize the purchasing, because mm -hmm. I do think they will help mm -hmm. very much so, because I, I watch it again coming down 116 in front of um, Subway with that 40 mile an hour sign. Yep. It's amazing how many cars you see hit the brakes when they mm -hmm. see mm -hmm. so the guy that goes 16 doesn't slow down. Right. But most people are it going, helps. you know, forty-five or fifty. Sure. They hit the brake, which, which is which is why that's what's there. Sure, you don't need to give them a ticket. You just want them to slow down. Right. Right. But they're entering into a populated area. Sure. So, so in, I do do have sign. I do have information that before we, I think we should do this. Yep. So I, did, did you look at the quote the chief sent and Jerry I did. developed? Okay. Yeah. And you I you want to bring back an alternative? Yeah. I, okay. well, I, I I just want. I think there's additional. I, I, mean, yeah, I understand why because of the smiling face and the yellow frowny and stuff that and that's all good mm -hmm. um, but but there's I'd like to show you what's out there sure you want to close that close that loop with Sherry in the next couple of days I will because I think she's I think we're pretty clear that the signs that they're pitching right now proposing right now do some of that data collection and, and, yeah. and again but, that's 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 what we want to make sure yeah but I want to show you what the, I mean, different, there are different sizes yep. that are recommended for, you know, yeah. the, the rest, different well, size, yeah. sizes are yeah. rec, and, and, and you can tell why the people, why the, you want to slow down, to, it's 35 ahead because of pedestrians in the road and or there's a sharp curve and or. Well, you know, we're thinking of looking at, because we want to use some of those on South Main too, so it wouldn't be just one got two of them. Yeah. Gotta be mobile. Putting in a number of them. Spec yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. some of these you can bolt, they're, they're, they're Yep. They're solar, and but you, the you, you can bolt them to an existing pole, mm -hmm. right. and they're lockable. So right. Sir. Isn't, isn't DOT responsible for paying for them the one on one sixteen? Because they own the room. One sixteen, yeah. The state put those in. The requests we have are for Falls Road and North Plain. Right. And, we, and, 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 and then mobile throughout can, the community. can put them on <laughs> every road. Right. I, there's no <laughs> doubt that Plum Tree, North Plain, yeah. South Plain, and South Silver Lane, you could rotate around yeah. there. Mon right. Montague Road. Yeah. 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 Montague yeah. Road. The only concern I have about them is um, 
and I, I think of it when I think when I see the ones on North Tech, because I'm definitely in favor of them. The only thing I want to make sure is, like, there's a, the way they're placed, I know, I think it flashes right in the house of one of the ones in North Hadley Village. You know, yeah, there's the opportunity to make sure they're placed correctly. Yeah, yeah. exactly. No, so that's, that's my own. It's more, and it's more of a just make sure we place. I was so that, the like, same thing. It might shine right into my well, house. Exactly, right. So now you're up, up in the middle of the night <laughs> getting put it a drink. <laughs> it's like, bzz, bzz. <laughs> right. So, so that, so that but, said, do you want to get some information to Sherry tomorrow? Oh, I'll do it. Yeah. I'll okay. bring the book in tomorrow. Yeah, okay. it'll be good for us to look at all our we could, So we'll skip over that piece tonight with respect to the traffic sale purchase. Uh, signage. Well, so. I like the data collection aspect of it though because you get I, then we get traffic counts and things like that that we only way we could get that before was to go through the cog or somebody mm -hmm. else. Yep. Well so that's useful I information. Think it's more data that if if you if you can see that there's mm -hmm. a larger number of people exceeding the speed limit between two thirty and four on Monday through Friday, right. then you can deploy your necessary yeah, uh, information. Exactly. Right. I can tell you yep. from observation, Saturday on North Plain it was a non stop stream. And I've been here almost twenty years. I know not a little time So you're you're new here. Good old days in yeah. two thousand and two, if you saw two cars on Saturday. Yep. It was, I'm telling you, it was nonsense. And, and I told you guys back then that I didn't want to pave that road, and you guys insisted that I, I you wanted to pave the road. <laughs> oh boy. I was like, I'm against that. I wish it was still dirt. <laughs> no. It, just like, it, wasn't, it wasn't me. The boat pave, well, it was you and the tractor. But not me. Yeah, I told don't tractor pave speeds. the road. And, no, and just like potholes, just like potholes, the the on Montague forty seven yeah. forty seven North. Just leave I them. love potholes. If, if you can turn it back into a dirt road, I I say go for it. it forty years. That's all, that's all it takes. <laughs> don't don't repave it. 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 Let it go back to, to grass. Okay, road. circling back to the agenda. Yeah. So <laughs> serious. Yeah, so uh, village center community appointment. We're going to do a couple of easy ones before we get to the nitty gritty. We have submitted to us James Houle as a business rep. Glenn Hamill is a business rep. Rock Warner is a community pathways rep. Uh, we have Sarah Snyder, soon to be chair. Jessica Skibiski, <laughs> historical commission. Liz Sillen at large, and Lauren Starr at large. There's a member of the board that's an open slot. So that's an area of discussion for us. Okay. See how easy that was? Just landed on the table with a dull thud. Damn, <laughs> another one. I'll, I mean, I'll, uh, I'll take that one on for the first, if that's all right, with the board. Yep, most fun. All right, I'll take the appointment, uh, and that, that rolls the slate out. We'll dispense the charge and commission the group with its first meeting. Motion. Second. All those for in favor? Appointment. No, no. <laughs> I've never I'm worked not. on a committee with Sarah. I'm, yeah. Actually, I have. <laughs> Actually, have. <laughs> Okay. No, you mean the chair? There used to be a sawmill on that road. There used to be a sawmill on that road. There used to be a sawmill on North Lane. All right, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so, so that one's up. We have a, we have a note from the chief. There used to be a butchery on the south. Mm. So. I'm sorry, chief, Mr. Chief, Mr. Chairman. Chief Engineer uh, is asking for permission to electrically sign, electronically sign the NIPTES permit. Uh, he and the new Chief Operator, James Young. Again, this is an extension of the retirement from uh, with Bob uh, Gabry. Motion. All second. Those, second. All those in favor? Aye. Three to zero. Thank you for your patience, Rich. Um, easy enough. Hang on, jumping around a little bit. I got my appointments, I got my authorization. Planning Board Select, Franklin Regional Planning Board Selectman Representative. You wanna do that? Repeat again, for Franklin <laughs> Regional Planning Board appointee representing the town of Sunderland. You want me to authorize Board of Selectmen. Is it Board of Selectmen? Well, it's, it can be a designee. I, I like planning stuff. So. Oh, you like talking about um, Heath, Connecticut River. Yeah, I love the Connecticut River. That's it. That's what they do a lot of the Connecticut River nuclear power um, countywide plan. Sure. Seriously, if it's okay with you. Discussion. That's uh, I. If somebody likes to do that. It's it's a worthwhile position. Okay. Is it a two year or a three year appointment? Annual appointment. Annual? Okay. Yep. So then you got. So it meets six times per year. Each municipality has two reps. One's a select board member or their designee. Who's our other rep? I don't know. What's that? I just wonder how the other rep is because we have two. Is it? It used to, it used to be Dan, Dan Murphy. Yep. Yeah. So we actually still have an opening. 
Okay. So it's currently not represented. Okay. So Mark, if you're truly interested, I yes, need sir. to put the touch on you. Yes, I am. Okay. Uh, All those in, interested, any motion. more discussion? Motion, motion and second. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Three to zero, please. And thanks, Mark, I appreciate that. So again, uh, share a close the loop with you. It's the 22,000 FY20 representatives of the Franklin Regional Planning Board. And you have to bring donuts to the first. No, party. you don't. I'll bring Athens <laughs> donuts. I'll bring donuts. Yeah. Hey, yeah. I think I'm a snob about it. I'm with you on that. And Dave, I did sign in for the second term of the district in June. Right? I, guess, uh, I think we need to rebrand that. Uh, no, stop it. Call it School Street. Jennifer says it should be the intermittent stream. Oh, I would agree. Intermittent stream. I S C. I S C. Next up, okay, we we'll have. We'll that on our next meeting. So we did Rich's piece. Next up, we have what's the deal with a special municipal employee? Help me out uh, here. Yeah. Uh, we have a request from one of the Frontier Regional School District Committee members to designate the Frontier Regional School District Committee as special municipal employees. Okay, so why would we do that? So that they may hold another position and be paid because it's an unpaid board. Okay, so it's not paid for, and we know that. Yeah. And you know that when you're going you have in. have to have that yeah. exemption. Mm -hmm. This so, so, them so from being this paid is, in another position? Or, I'm sorry, I missed that. They have to have the exemption, the municip special municipal employee exemption, to hold another position that is paid. I believe there's a part time position. So, what I'm hearing is, and correct me if I'm wrong, if you want to, we have someone's come forward and looking to be on the Frontier Regional School Committee mm -hmm. yeah, as, she's on there. as an SME or a special municipal employee, not as an, not as an elected official. She's elected. She's but elected. She has to I, have I the designation. I think they want a, a paying job in the schools. Yeah. So she got has, it. So yeah. it's not a compensated school committee no. member. No. Understood. They, they want to. Understood. They you have to be in an unpaid elected position to get the exemption, right. and it's Understood. for the whole board, not just for. Understood. Me. So, so okay. this is a board policy piece. So this allows someone to hold a elected or appointed position, yeah. as well as be employee of some municipality. Yeah. Without without the conflict of interest aside, that all is another bucket. Yeah, that is another. Okay. Hmm. So it's not in excess of 10,000 people, it's not an alderman, it's not a mayor, it's not a select board member of awesome, it's not any of that. 10,000 and fewer, permits a private employment during normal working hours, got it. They have to change the statute, there's too many he's in there. <laughs> Hey, 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 hey. Yeah. if you're going to play by the rules, play by the rules. Can I go back to Sugar Bush? Just one second. Let me get through this part. Yep. Here's All right. I did print that out for you in case there was a question. And is this uh, specific to an individual? It's the whole committee that would be exempt, and they have to have it in every member town. And so this is a Board of Selectmen policy of the Corn to Deerfield, and... Is it a statute that we can uh, exercise, or is this town meeting and adopting of a bylaw? No, it's a board. It's a board movement. Uh, hmm. Special county SME. Or it has to name, name the frontier. The yeah. You don't know. It's not. It's the position, not the person. No, so I know, but I'm just wondering, like, huh. like if the school committee needs to weigh in at all, or should? No, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm looking for the approval process. Okay. It, I I thought there was. I th some I don't provisions towns, they do they have have special municipal employees by right. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm looking to see. Yep. I don't even think you have to be. You have to vote a policy, do you? I mean, by mass general law. You have to it's vote to designate the position. The so position, right? So we're we're or position. Sometimes do a blanket. Got it. So this would be appointing the oh. Frontier Regional School Committee member from Sunderland. No, not the member. No. The board. The board. The members not. We just designate Sunderland. all the members of the board okay. as such. And we have Deerfield vote. Have the remaining have the remaining communities voted this? 
Uh, that I don't know. If not, is there a motion to approve the designation of the Frontier Regional School Committee as special municipal employees? It's membership. Motion. Pretty sure that's the way I read it, Tom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is there a second? second? Motion's made and second. All those in favor? Aye. <coughs> Three to zero, please. Okay. Easy enough. Okay, so SME, we got that one. FR COG, thank you, Mark. You want to circle back and then we have to go to updates after that. Go ahead. Can that access road from Plum Tree be authorized to be open? To I mean, is there a rule right now that says that cannot be used to access? I the think that's part of the. We have to look at the drawing that the, that the ZBA, the comprehensive okay. permit, allowed for. Well, I find you that they said they was not, they weren't going to use that road that runs from the at all. Is it just emergency access? It's just right? supposed to be emergency just emergency access, access only. It's supposed to be right. Well, Mark, okay. I, I, I mean, you're asking me. I would tell you that there's. There's a hundred ways the skin the fish can be scunned, okay. right? Right. I, 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 right. And, 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 and again, I. And as soon as the third person figures out that's an easier way out, there'll be three hundred people doing it, mm -hmm. unless there's a gate. Absolutely. Right. And and and, 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 and I mean, I, I didn't probably explain it right, but my, we 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 town, meaning the town, never had an opportunity to discuss the plan. Mm -hmm. We were we were. We, we never discussed the plan yep. and to this day we still haven't discussed the plan because yep. it's changing right. and, and it's been back to the zoning board twice three, three times three. been back to the zoning be, and, and where they voted that it was non-substantial changes and, and and it's like holy moly that that's a big change but sure so by by the definition of the state it's not so yep. they, they, the zoning board was in a no-win situation I know, I know. So, I know you guys fought it for ten years. I, well, and and that and, and again, and, and that's why I said what I did because ten years ago, and and this could have happened five years ago if if we if, if the zoning board or planning board actually had seen a plan five years ago, six years ago, whatever mm -hmm. it was. Hmm. And the thing with the parking spots, because I always thought they didn't have enough parking. I don't remember the exact number. Yeah. But now you're saying beds. Mm -hmm. You have three hundred. Mm -hmm. Cars, sure. possibly. I don't think it's even close to that number of spots in the approved plan. Mm -hmm. it was like 150, yeah. 160. I don't even remember exactly, but it was nowhere close to that and, number. And, and, and it's interesting because that and, and because part year. of the discussion was, well, there's 150 apartments. That's mm -hmm. different than than 750 beds. Yes. And, 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 that, and that's what I'm saying. We never had a. Right. We've never had an honest discussion about the project as it exists, as it will finally exist. And, and that, that's not my opinion, that's just fact. I mean, sure. we, 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 everything we discussed in court and through all the meetings, all the hearings, was all hypothetical mm -hmm. because nothing, it was gonna be a private water supply. Well, now we have a public water supply. It was supposed to be a private, a private sewer, sewer system. system. Mm -hmm. Well, geez, why don't you, you, would you guys consider a... So that was my next comment. If, if you move down there, you might say, we could, you could put in sidewalks along with the sewer. As sure. Part of an agreement. Sure. If All sorts happens, of things right? are done like that in big cities. This is palm right. tree sidewalks. Oh, no. I, no I, and, and, and again, but again, if you have that discussion, okay, we're, gonna allow, we're not going to allow you to tear up the road, but we would allow you to put it under a, a sidewalk. That's a, that's, a, that's a conversation to have. Sure. Oh, oh man! Right? <laughs> and, and, and all right. sorts of creative opportunities. That'd be, that'd be awesome. That'd be unbelievably awesome. But 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 those are all conversations you can have. But to try to do it in in a meeting, one meeting is not doesn't give us enough not? time to do so. Good point. Select board right. updates. Uh, I'll be real quick. We have an upcoming intermittent stream committee, <laughs> aka ditch committee meeting, and uh, a personal committee oh, meeting awesome. on the twenty fourth. <laughs> Our first one of the, the season, I guess. So we'll get back into our. Got to get it done before know, the spring. Work. Right? <laughs> Tom, anything you want to add? No, not this time, Scott. Thank you. Okay. 
uh, Capital Planning Committee to, uh, tomorrow, and it's our first pass at the current budget cycle, which will be FY21. Hard to believe that, but here it comes. And the focus there is going to be on the uh, report of the architect and engineers on the buildings and structures. And we'll send questions out to department heads to see if they are aligned with capital and then start that plan for the upcoming, upcoming um, uh, budget process. Uh, to my left, uh, Sherry has been offered a position as negotiating to see town administrator in the town of Princeton because Princeton is awesome. Not quite as awesome as Sunderland. Not quite as awesome as Sunderland. Oh. Uh, and, and that said, triggers our normal activities when it comes to finding, finding someone to fill the shoes of the current town administrator. That would be uh, dusting off the interim town administrator job description, asking uh, people in the business, the you know, Association of Town Administrators, uh, our attorneys actually have been very helpful with some of these searches. Uh, as well as some uh, members in the Selectmen's Association uh, looking for an interim while we go about the hiring um, of the uh, administrator. All of this is an announcement. I know all of the time that Cherry has spent here, all for nearly five years, um, has been both productive and it's been very good for the town. And I think uh, in that sense, Cherry has been uh, really a steady hand uh, in changing a lot of the face of areas of town. And that's been very good while adopting policies and frankly, not not really wanting to strangle anybody on the board. On oh, the board. On the board, right? We're talking about yeah. <laughs> no, no, not yet. So I appreciate both of the style as well as the energy and effort. She's been just a treat to continue to work with. And I say to continue because she's negotiating. So we'll see. A, a quiet professional. A quiet professional. That's a really good way to put it. Good way to put it. I, I did forget one quick update. Um, we actually had our, speaking of lawyers, it was the lawyers that maybe remember. Yep. We had, uh, the other day, we had our first meeting with mediator for mm -hmm. Union 38. Oh, good. Contract negotiations. And we have another one scheduled for the 10th, and then I believe the 17th. Okay. Um, if we need it in October. Get some resolution maybe for 2021's budget. Yeah. Good, that's good so. news. Okay, any more comments with respect to the board? Uh, I, I, Sherry and I have talked, and I will just share some of our conversation. Sher Sherry is a um, sh when when um, one of the outside things that we participate in is a selectman's association. It, there's a Massachusetts selectman's association. There's a Ma Franklin County selectman right. or select board association, um, and Sherry was a topic of one of our conversations. A few months ago, at our executive board, uh -oh. and bidding war. <laughs> well, and 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 twenty years ago, Sunderland did not have a town administrator. Sunderland Sunderland had um, a person that 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 did a that a, did a good job, um, but Sunderland felt at that time that we needed to step up our game to be able to compete as a town. Um, and so we 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 got a um, pass through town a town administrator's position, executive secretary something I don't I actually forgot what the the thing said, and and I was having a discussion with one of the um, a selectman from one of the towns to the north of us, um, and the concern was that we all pay town administrators too much. I said. What do you pay your town administrator? And he said, and the town is very similar in size to Sunderland. And he says, $50,000, and I don't know, and, and that's more than enough. And I said, well, how much money did your town bring in in grants in the last few years? Grants? We're a small town. We don't get no grants. And I go, and I go, well, we do. Um, we pay slightly more than the $50,000. And more more towards the seventy than the fifty, and I says, and our town administrator brings back boatloads more than what we pay her, and and that's why, in my opinion, Sherry's worth every dollar that we've ever paid her, and 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 it's true if you look at what Sherry and before Sherry Margaret and before Margaret Dana have done for the town of Sunderland, 
um, it's good to have a professional hand at at the tiller. Um, okay. in, in, in Princeton does not know what they're getting. Thank you. They really don't. They they have no idea. Um, and I'm proud that you worked in the town, and I know a lot of people are proud that you called Sunland home for for the last four or five years. So thank you, Sheila. Thank you. My experience here has been amazing, and I've loved every minute of it. I've worked with a lot of really good people and great leadership and everybody just functions as a team and get things done and uh, it was um, it, kind of an easy experience to be able to come in and do um, everything and be a part of everything that's been done over the past four or five years. Um, I, I'm amazed by it but it just shows the the teamwork and, and people coming together and, and when they do that what can get done so I'm just really proud and happy that I could be part of that. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you Mr. Chair. Oh, you're welcome. Okay. okay. Leading into town administrator updates. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> all, all things traffic I'm related. So we expect four or five months notice. Exactly. And, and yeah. <laughs> We're wrapping up complete streets. Everything seems to be kind of revolving around traffic and roads. Uh, we have requests into the FERC hog for um, traffic yeah, studies yeah. on uh, Falls Road and North Plain Road. Um, they're also going to be coming out to um, do site visits and walk around and maybe uh, come up with some recommendations for traffic calming um, in those areas. Also on East Plum Tree, um, we've had some complaints about truck traffic. Yes. Um, in that area. So we're going to um, visit those sites and see if they can come up with some recommendations for traffic calming in the areas. Uh, continuing to work with <coughs> District 2 on the intersection on light timing and arrows and how we can um, move the traffic through there a little uh, more quickly, smoothly, and safely. Um, you probably know we've, and I'm sure you've heard some complaints too. So. <laughs> Um, there have been those. So they are continue to look at uh, options there. So. Okay. so we'll get the paperwork we talked about earlier and uh, be in that process over the next couple of weeks uh, with respect to town administrator uh, search and the method we will about choose to use and uh, getting our, our, uh, our name out there and looking for... Um, it's never a replacement. It's always someone new. That's important to bear in mind. You never replace somebody because that's the way to put it. That, oh, that it's it's yeah. Sherry, Sherry took us to, and and, and it's, mm -hmm. it's been a journey. And, and every all all the people who've been our town administrator have left a mark. And and they mm -hmm. they yep. we we've been very fortunate to get great people in the position. And and now we need to go out and we need to. To add to you know to take mm -hmm. the next step. Yeah, it's a mosaic. Exactly yeah. right. And next, we're going to do the next step, and and Sherry just set the bar that much hard, higher for the next person. There you go. I think. Okay. Any other discussion? Yeah. Nine twenty-three. That's a couple weeks from now. That's that many days from now. Thirteen days from now. So it's it's emoji signs. Will be yeah, emoji <laughs> signs. Mass DOT. <laughs> 6 p.m. Mass DOT public hearing with CHA, the engineer, about the North Main Street reconstruction project that's in this space. So the people on School Street and Main Street and South Street, South Main Street, all those people, this is again the first measure of communication. We keep told that we don't communicate enough. Here's your first one, 13 so, days. So, Mr. Chair, if I could, is there any way we could talk to... Um, FCAT about maybe upping the presentation so that they can come in with instead of putting things on an easel, mm -hmm. so they can come with a project uh, off a laptop, a, la a laptop mm -hmm. with a with a, a flat screen, so that we could so we can project off of there to there. I I wouldn't even say doing I 
I, I think it'd be better if you, if you could set up a TV there. We have money in the technology budget. Sure. I just don't, I, I'm not sure what we need, but if you could give me some guidance, like. To, just, just, tell, just tell Chris what. We need like yeah, a. You know, Mr. FCAT. So I'd say like at least what I'd like what, can you work can you get Chris to get a nice um, flat screen TV there so that we could plug in a computer or, or some type of monitor so that we could plug in the laptop into the with the, with the necessary uh, cables so that we could plug in instead of having that screen and then you could so well, if um, we, state can give us or our engineer can give us a presentation. I can mention it to him. No, tell, just tell him we need it done. <laughs> we, yeah, well, you can. I, can you, you I, I, I mention it to him, and I'll see what can, can be done. Tell, can you ask him to call Sherry, and if he needs, he can call me. But or even yeah, I can. Well, then, then stop and see him, Dave, because it, we, we should have a nice thing here so when people come and people wireless. come home, yeah. they can the see what's going on. That. Sure. Right. We, and, right. And you want yep. to be able to do it Agreed. wirelessly so they can sit over there and connect. We have these little dongles at work. Sure. Plug it in. You yeah. get that. I don't know how they do it. I, yeah. I mean, I'm not an like, IT person, but I know they do it. It's right. like $40 so. or $50 for the little dongle. And I, I can mention it to him. Your I can right now. Tell him we want it for the... 26 Scott? 23rd. For the 23rd. Has to be running it has to be has running, to be running by and running, running for running the by six run by six PM, not just in a box that we're clipped the board to. <laughs> With the styrofoam on it. Yeah. Okay. Right? Hey, I can mention it to him. <laughs> All right, yeah. we know who's got the pull. <laughs> I thought you were telling us you're the main man. I'm well, number we, two. Uh, oh, that's not what you were telling us before. So we know <laughs> who number two that, works. Chris, for. If you're watching the TV, that's not what he was telling us before. He said he was the number one. That everything runs through him. Motion. Well, well maybe there's a not. second. You'll have to take that with Chris. Uh, we okay. have to wire it in. Too. Nice. So, but but I, concept, I mean, but. it'd be nice if people yeah. could see if they're here to talk about it and it's displayed up there. Right. Correct. Right. And, and, yep. Agreed. And also a budget time and everything. It's so much easier to get the presentation. This, this, this was great 15 years ago. Right. And you won't have to that. dim the lights. Okay. Huh? We wouldn't have to dim the lights anymore either. With a good well, we're getting new lights. Panel. That's true. We're but, not supposed yeah. to talk about that yet. <laughs> I know. That's well, right. But it's not an election yes. year. That's right. Well, right. for somebody. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> so there's a motion to adjourn on the table. Is there a second? There is? Who yes. made that motion? He did that one. David made a motion? Yes, he motion. did. He motion. Wow. Usually he'd been, late, he'd been late on his motion for a second. <laughs> yeah. Second. All those in favor? Aye.